Hi everybody. Today I will go over six reasons why I use Luminar Flex and maybe why you should buy it. So what is Luminar Flex? It is a plugin that will work with uh, your Mac photo software, Adobe, Lightroom and Photoshop. So it's been my go-to for a while now. Uh, Luminar 3 came out, which Luminar 3 have like a gallery. It's like a Lightroom kind of in itself. But Luminar Flex revert back to what it was before as a plugin where you can work on your image there without having a library attached to it. So what I'll do is I'll give you six reasons why I like Luminar and we'll start now. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the Skylum website and I'll show you where to get this Luminar Flex from there. If you look, uh, we are in Skylum.com. The first tab here, Luminar, will direct you to Luminar 3, but what we want is the Flex plugin. So if you click on this, it's going to bring you to the Luminar Flex plugin page and then you can buy this for $100 or you can try it free. Up to you. Okay, so now that's out of the way, let's go and talk about my first thing I really like about Luminar Flex is it works smoothly with Photoshop, Lightroom, Mac Photos, and it works in a non-destructive way. So what I mean by that is, we'll go here in Lightroom and have a look. If I take this image, this is a raw image here, if I right click, I can go edit in in Luminar Flex. It's gonna ask me if I wanna edit that as a copy with Lightroom adjustments. So I'm not gonna take this image straight from my raw file to Luminar, it's gonna create a copy, so whatever I do, to that copy. I can delete the copy or whatever I want to do in the future. It's not affecting my raw file. And then there's a few options there you can change. So it'll come probably close like this. I'm going to press edit. So then right there is going to take that new image it's creating right now and go straight to Luminar Flex. So here we go. I can do whatever I want in there. Let's say I'm going to do this and I press apply. And then that's going to process, bring the image back into Lightroom. And from there, if I decide to keep the image, I keep it. If not, I can delete it and my raw image won't be affected. So here we are. If I look here, I have my TIFF, which is the image I've just done in the uh, in the mirror flex. And that was my original image. Okay, if I go to Photoshop, I'll show you as well. So you have your Photoshop here. I have two files I've been working on. So what I can do is create a master copy and then we're just gonna take this one and then we're gonna go to filter and we're gonna go to Skylum Software Illuminar Flex. So I created a master copy because I didn't want whatever layer I was choosing to be the one that Illuminar Flex is gonna work on. So what I mean by that, create a new copy and then it's gonna bring that copy into Illuminar Flex. We're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna apply and then whatever change we make is gonna reflect to that new layer that we just done, that master copy that I just created. So here we are, we are back. So my layer one here is the one that I created. That's the one that came back from Luminar Flex. And then I can change opacity, I can create another mask, I can do whatever I want from there. So again, non-destructive way as I created a master copy there and this copy I can delete if I don't want to keep, alter, change, whatever it is. In this case, I'm just gonna delete it and that's it. So a very non-destructive way to work with my layers. So that's it for my number one. It works smoothly, it's non-destructive, and it's great that way. So let's go back to Lightroom here, and we're gonna go back to Luminar Flex to bring you to my second point here. And the second point why I like Luminar Flex is you can customize a lot of things. So basically, you can customize your workspace, you can create presets. So let's have a look here. So I have this image there. If I wanted to, I can change my, clear my workspace. And you can add filters to this. Let's say I want a tone filter. I want like a dehaze and let's say a sharpening. And this is a new workspace that I want to keep. I can save that as a new workspace. And you can just call that tone sharp. and it's gonna be my new workspace. So in there, here we go. That's my new one. And also, you do have these presets. I have a preset waterfall that I created. 
So that was when I was shooting waterfalls. So you can do presets as well. So you can revert that. And then that's gonna have all your workspace and all the adjustments you created for that as well. So you can customize quite a few things here. It's very nice. You can go back if you know um, there are certain things you do to your images, then you can just save that as a preset and then go back to your image and quickly refer to this and then quickly do a, a bit of a slider adjustments and you, here you are. So it's great for workflows. If you have a lot of photos, whatever you do, whatever type of photos you take, at least you can refer back to this and it's very easy to go back and forth. So that was my point number two. It's easy to customize your menus and everything and it's great. So number three on the list is the artificial intelligence capability of Luminar Flex. So Scalum came out with a few AI. So I'm gonna clear this, clear this workspace. I'm gonna get rid of this here and we're gonna go to uh, my filter and you get accent AI filter, get AI sky enhancer. And then we have a few things like foliage and an insert as well as detail and insert and stuff. So basically the Accent AI filter, it's fairly smart. In this case, it doesn't do the greatest job, but it's most cases works pretty good. The uh, sky enhancer in this case, it's pretty good. It doesn't detect any sky, so it doesn't do much change there. So I've done a video that covers a little bit about the AI capability of this software, so you should check it out. It is actually uh, pretty amazing to see. So it's great, you can choose a slider and make a huge difference if you're not into editing. At least if you get this, they give you the option to just go straight to some AI filter, boost that, fine tune it to wherever you like it, and then you don't have to do too much. So that's one thing sometimes I'll do, just a quick slider, like it, change your opacity, bring it back, and voila, I don't have to do a whole lot. So that was my number three, the AI capability is great in Luminar Flex. So my fourth point where I really like Luminar Flex, once again, lots and lots of filter. They run great, they run smoothly, and they are fast. So we're gonna clear this workspace and look at all those filters. We have essentials, we have a lot of different filters here. I'm gonna scroll and there's tons. If you like some, you can basically use a little star and they'll become um, your favorites. So if I like the vignettes, for example, I can go like this and then I can go to my favorites here and I'll show only my favorites. So again, you can tailor and customize this menu to find your uh, filter uh, quicker. Now I'm not gonna go through all the filters here because there is a lot and they work great. Again, I've done other videos that covered that type of stuff. So you can take a look at my uh, website if you want to. But just keep in mind, for $100, you get lots of contents and lots and lots of good filters and a lot of good things you can do with this software. All right, number five on my list, it is a layer-based environment. So what I mean by that is you can create layers, you can create masks and mask layers so let's say in this case, I'm gonna go to this filter. Let's say I'm gonna do this. And I don't necessarily like too much the look of it, but it doesn't matter what I can do here is take a brush. And then I like what it's done to the roof, not the rest. So I can paint basically the actual scene there just to keep the roof. And then it's gonna create a layer mask and only the roof is gonna be affected. So. This is great to be able to do that type of thing. You can also change the blending mode for this layer mask. There's a lot of things you can do uh, for, um, for masks. So another thing you can do is add other layers. So if I want to say change the sky or change the trees or change anything, you can add a new image, create the mask I just show you and then move things around a little bit. Take a look at this video. It is a quick time lapse of how, how I did it and changed the sky into Luminar. Okay, so this is great, a great environment to work into. And that's bring, that brings me to my number six on my list of things I really like about Luminar Flex is you can clean your image, you can do some clone stamp tools, you can use denoise, there's so much you can do once again. So that's gonna work with the layers there. 
So if I go to tools there, I'm gonna choose my clone stamp. Let's say I don't really like what's on the left, there's a little post there in the photo. I just want the trees to be there, so I'll show you quickly. They'll click for the source, I can click here, and I'm just gonna go around, do this, and I press done. So basically I got rid of that post. It's gonna create a new layer with this. So now the new layer you can see there, it says clone and stamp. And then my image, if I turn this off and on, you can see now that it is gone. So this is fantastic. You can clean your image, you can do a whole lot in there. So once again, for $100, you get so much you can do with this. Now, this is stuff that I could probably do in Photoshop, but this is something that I can quickly go in there. If you're not used to Photoshop, you can just go and do all that cleaning there. So in my workflow, what I usually do is I'll start in Lightroom. I'll choose whatever image I want to, if I want to build uh, some composite or something like that. I'm gonna bring it to Photoshop. I'm gonna align all those images in Photoshop. I'm gonna do whatever cleaning I wanna do there. Then what I'll do is I'll import a master copy into Luminar Flex, do my coloring, do a few sharpening, whatever I wanna do there. I really like the vignette as well. I will say the vignette is great in Luminar. You can change the center, it, it, it looks fantastic. So once you're done that, then you can re-import that into Photoshop, do your final touches of blending there, and then press save and then go straight back to Lightroom. And now I have a final image that looks fantastic. So that's usually how I use Luminar Flex. It's been in my workflow for a while. I do landscape photography, I do uh, wildlife, and then you can blur the background very smoothly, create a nice bouquet there. It's just fantastic. I can't say enough of Luminar. So with this new plugin that replaced a little bit what Luminar was before, uh, may cost you $100, but keep in mind you can do a lot of things with it, especially if you're using Mac Photos, you're very limited what you can do there. So for $100, you, that open your horizon so much more. Okay, so those were the six reasons why I really like Luminar Flex and why I suggest you to grab a copy or at least to try it to see if you like it. And on this, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. If you have any questions, any comments, please leave them in the box below. And if you want me to cover anything, anything else, sorry, let me know. And again, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.